Hello! In this demonstration, I'll show you how you can set up your website to distribute Joomla extensions like plugins, modules, components, uh, translations or templates. And this system not only distributed but also automate the delivery through Joomla update system. Uh, let me show you what's a Joomla update system. You can see here in extension manager update section. So here Joomla fetch information from all your installed extensions if there is an update available and if there is update it will show it here and you will be able to instantly install this update to your Joomla. So in this video I'll show you how to automate this process. You don't need to go and change your Xmail files always. The Xmail files will be generated on the fly. If you're gonna use Cobalt, you will get a lot of advantages. The first is a fully automated and integrated with Joomla update system. You can distribute the extensions for free, you can sell them based on subscription or like individual download. You can set up it really quickly, it's just a matter of few minutes. And a lot of Cobalt 8 features which can allow you to extend your download section, to add new fields, to add new features, and do whatever you want almost without any limitations. Let me first point a list of the files you have to download from our website. Of course you have to download the Cobalt and install it, and I don't uh, pay attention on it. So it's assumed that you have downloaded and installed Cobalt on your Joomla. But apart from Cobalt, there are a few things that you have to download and install. The first is Uploads field. This field is required. You can distribute your files without being able to upload them to your website. So download this uh, field. Or as an alternative, you can use Pay to Download field. The difference between this field is only that Uploads field allow you to sell only by subscription and Pay to Download allow you to sell by subscription and individually. Choose what field is most appropriate for you and download which you like most. Another important thing to download is Formatter. When you go to the Formatters category, you will see the list of formatters available. We need this one, Joomla Update. This formatter will export our data from our website into appropriate format that Joomla can understand. Another thing, go and download pack, which is called Downloads Joomla Update. This pack is your starting point. It will create section, type and all essential fields, and also pre-configuration. Of course you can add new fields, you can uh, change configuration, add some additional features or disable some features. This is only this is only serves you as a helper to quickly set up your essential fields and essential configurations. After you downloaded all the files, now we are ready to install them. Let's open installation and find our files. I will start formatter. And I'll install pack. After we have installed our pack, we can access it from the front end. We open our website and we can see download link here. This link may appear in the other menu, but generally it has to be there. Click it and you are in your download section. What we have here is a download section. It's already set up for you. It has already four categories, which you can change, delete or add additional categories. You can add another download file right here, but we will not do this now. And this is very good starting point for us. We don't need to do anything with this. Let's now only configure our formatter plugin. Let's go to Backend, Extension Plugin Manager. And here is our Formatter plugin. 
we publish it if it's not yet published and we open it for edit go to parameters and here we can see that uh, we have associated with our extension this is our type which was created when pack installed and now we have to associate the fields with the fields of Joomla XMAIL file let me show you this is example how you have to feed Joomla to tell it if you have new updates available and we have to fill all these fields we have to fill name description elements type and all these tags have to be filled and uh, this is the purpose of uh, this configuration the main idea here you associate fields with uh, these parameters so later this plugin knows how to correctly generate xmail for joomla so you also can enter your site name um, your own name your website url and version of your joomla let's save and close it and that's it we have successfully configured it now what you're gonna do you just open your front end and add the special mark to your url it's a formatter equal joomla update and this will trigger this plugin and it will convert the list of the articles into this uh, special helper list this helper list help you you can just copy this and insert it into your component xmail installation file and you can copy this and insert it into your plugin installation xmail file and joomla will know that by this url it can get a special update xmail which is properly formatted because our configuration now after you install it and people install your extension for example uh, you release new version all you need is just you edit your file you increase the version you add new files here i don't know maybe you upload this new file um, you delete old file so there's only one file have to be and you save and close it you see the version was increased and if we if we go back to our xmail we can see that uh, this file now shows different version and uh, when you just update upload your new file on your website it will be instantly delivered to all your customers they will immediately see that the new update is available and without going to your website they will be able to download and update their Joomla even if you use pay to download they will be able to click update in the pop-up they will enter their login and the name on your, on your website and still they will have access and download your commercial and free downloads I hope you're gonna like it so and I'm waiting for your comments and your recommendations here in the comments.